Welcome. I want to review something very important about your neck, particularly while sleeping. Many people ask about what, what is the best kind of pillow, a cervical pillow, a rolled up pillow. Uh, as you can see, there are different kinds of pillows, or many you can get. This is a pillow to where your head supports over the hump. Uh, they have pillows to where one side is narrower, the other side is thicker, depending upon the length of your neck. There are other pillows that are called uh, uh, these particular roll pillows that just supports behind the neck like this. But again, there are denser ones, softer ones, thinner ones, thicker ones, and what is best for you. So that is the question. The question here is that we're looking at a curve from the side, a normal silver color dotted curve. If we lay back like this on our back, obviously we need something to support underneath that neck. If the pillow is too high, then obviously the neck is going to be bent forward in this position. We don't want that. That's going to cause irritation of the nerves, affect the, uh, the ligaments, the tendons, the muscles, as potentially the discs. And sleeping in that position for eight hours or six to eight hours a night can cause a lot of problems over time. Realize that the more your position, the more the body is in a position uh, that it shouldn't be and the body doesn't know right from wrong. The body will then compromise and go through deformation. In other words, the more we put our head into a position, eventually the body is going to be used to that position. It's going to think that, hey, let's keep it in that position. Just like poor posture. If you leave your head in a poor postural position, eventually you're going to live in that poor postural position. We don't want that. So uh, most important thing, tip number one, uh, while sleeping, make sure your pillow is not too high. If the head is flexed forward too much, uh, it's going to cause a lot of stretching. If you see here, that normal curve is lost. As it becomes stretched, the, the muscles and tendons become stretched tighter. They pull apart more. As you can see from point A to point B, and then as you straighten out, now you have point A to point C because now you have a longer neck when it's straight and obviously there's more contracture and tension being pulled, particularly in the suboccipital region. The upper trap area attaches above, around the ex external occipital protuberance, the EOP behind the skull, and that can cause a lot of irritation with cervical neuralgia, occipital neuralgia, and pain. We may wake up with headaches over the head behind the eyes. So the most important thing when you sleep is do not sleep on your stomach. If you're on your back, put a pillow underneath the knees to help support the knees, help support the lower back. Uh, having a good pillow underneath your neck is very important. Again, do not keep something where it's too high. If you're on your side, a pillow between the knees is good too. The most important thing is keeping your spine in line with the head and the spine. If your head is, if your pillow is too, too low, and your head's going downwards, your pillow is too high, your head's going upwards and propped up, that is just as bad. So. The biggest tip I want to give you today about cervical pillows is that your muscles have memory. And what that means is that the way your muscles have been uh, working for weeks, months, or years, that's the way they, they're used to working. So when you put your head over a pillow that's designed to support your neck, those neck muscles are not used to being in this position. Uh, when I say that position, We'll pull this spine out, and you can see laying on the back here, when you have a normal cervical curve like this, and now you have a pillow supporting that curve, okay? Let's say that curve is not used to being in that position. These muscles along the spine are gonna start to ache, and the first thing you're gonna think of is, ah, this pillow stinks or this is killing me. Well, I promise you one thing. When you make change to the cervical spine, you need to be patient, have, have patience, and it, these things do take time. The muscles have to be retrained. So when your neck starts to feel sore, take your pillow that you're using, your cervical pillow, and stop using it. Use it for 10, 15 minutes, half hour. As time goes on, maybe an hour, as time goes on, another two hours, until eventually, the neck will not hurt anymore. So gradually build up time, and that should really make a big change when it comes down to making corrective changes for your neck and your particular sleeping posture. I hope this has helped you. Uh, share this video with your friends and family. Subscribe if you haven't so you can keep, continue to receive more self-help and educational and motivational videos.
And most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel. Thank you.